Well, Carol Barth being out at, at Yahoo tells us two things. One is that she was an ineffective leader, and two, Yahoo is stuck in a quagmire that it hasn't been able to get out of for a while. She's also been very ineffective in terms of raising the stock price, which has languished in the low to mid-teens since she's taken over in January of 2009. The biggest question the company faced when she came in was how are they going to innovate and maintain this plethora of unique visitors that they get. They get something like 170 million unique visitors to their homepage every day. Carol has not been able to innovate in terms of products that keep those users in, in the Yahoo network. And it's not just Carol's fault. They've gone through, in the last decade, four CEOs. None of them have been able to get Yahoo out of the funk that they've been in. And what's really happened is they've had their lunch eaten by Facebook and Twitter and Google. They're kind of now being looked at as on par with AOL rather than as, as a vanguard, which they used to be. So the trend in the internet business is basically going social and going mobile. There's a brain drain going on. All of the really good skilled talent that were was at AOL and Yahoo are now working for their competitors. And Yahoo's board uh, in getting rid of Bart yesterday also said in, in addition to conducting a CEO search they were going to retain some bankers to look at strategic alternatives. What ge that generally means is a deal of some kind. And one of the rumors that people think could happen is putting Yahoo and AOL together. And some people think it's a good fit, other people think it's, it's a terrible fit. The only thing I could think of worse than running Yahoo or AOL separately is somebody having to run them both together. So it's like tying two bricks together and seeing, and seeing if they could float instead of falling to the bottom. Private equity, though, shouldn't be discounted in this situation. There's a lot of private equity firms out there with a lot of money, with a lot of smart managers that see opportunities primarily with the upside in Yahoo. They just think that that's a quality asset that needs to be run better and needs to have more of a visionary leader there. Uh, I, I suspect that there will be some sort of deal for Yahoo uh, and AOL, whether it's independently or together. If I'm a betting man, I would say that Yahoo gets, gets a deal done rather than remains independent, and AOL gets a deal done rather than remains independent. Are you like me now?